Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. And you probably came here because I said I was gonna show you how to correctly reheat yesterday's pizza. Now I say correctly, there's plenty of ways you could reheat pizza. You could do it the silly way and uh, you could nuke it in the microwave. And I suppose if you're coming off an all night bender and you wake up and you need that pizza, that's probably what you're gonna do because it's the quickest way to do it. But Probably the worst way. Second worst way would be throwing it in the oven. I mean, you can do that and it does at least get the pizza crispy again, but it's a lot of effort and a lot of power on putting that oven on and heating it up just to get a slice of pizza that knock yourself out. So I'm going to talk about two other ways of heating your pizza. Now they are similar and they, one of them does still involve the microwave, but Ultimately, you're gonna decide which is the best way. Now, in front of me, I have uh, a pizza. I didn't make it. Don't complain about the quality of the pizza. It was very average, but I'm hungry. Let's reheat it. So let's open it up. And as you can see, we've got some Hawaiian. Do you eat pineapple on pizza? Don't know. I do. My wife does. She likes that. Not fast. And we've got what looks like to be some kind of Mexicana. So what we will do is we will grab a couple of slices of this. If I can unpeel it from said box. Let's just break that apart. And we're going to cook these two in two different ways. Well, I say cook. We're going to reheat them two different ways. Now the first way is going to be nuking in the microwave for one minute and then we're going to pop it on a hot plate. That's to crisp up the bottom because see, if you put it in the microwave it's going to go soggy on the bottom and look the flavours will still be there but it's just not going to have that texture you want in a piece of pizza. So to put it on the top of the grill it's going to circumvent that. It's going to get rid of the soggy bottom, make it nice and crisp again. The second way is we are going to actually cook this thing straight on top of the stove in a fry pan and then pop the lid on and steam the top. Now the jury's out, which way's the best? I'll show you both, then you decide. Okay, so our first slice of pizza that you see in my hand here, I am going to use the method of popping it on a fry pan. I've just turned my hot plate on hot. So I'm gonna wait a moment for it to get really, really hot. I'm gonna pop this pizza in that fry pan. We're gonna cook it for about a minute and a half, two minutes, depending on how hot it is and whether you want your house burning down. And uh, once we've done that, we're then gonna steam it. All right, so the pizza goes in. It's gonna sit there for about a minute and a half to two minutes. This has just come out of the fridge. So it's, it's pretty cold, pretty thick at the moment. All right, so we can see that starting to steam up. I don't know if the camera is picking up, but it, it certainly is. So I'm going to turn this down to a lower heat now. And here you can see, let's just move that to the side. I now have a tablespoon of water. I'm going to pop a few drips of that water in here. Lid goes on. And we're going to let that steam for about a minute. Okay, that's been about a minute. So it's going to take the lid off there. All right, now let's take a look at that. Topping's nice and hot. The base, oh, it's very hot. I want to touch that. And uh, yeah, that looks delicious. All right, well, so let's just plate her up and move it to the side. Okay, now our second method of reheating pizza is going to be to nuke our slice of pizza in the microwave for one minute in total and then we're going to pop it straight back in that same pan. So on a plate we go with our said slice of pizza. Let's head over to the microwave. Now for those of you that seen one of my previous videos you would have noted that uh, my microwave blew up so here is my new toy. It is also a convection microwave but that's fine. We are just going to nuke this in the regular method. So on it goes for one minute, as you can see. 
Now if you haven't checked out my toaster unboxing video, do check that out. It is a terrific unit. Would thoroughly recommend that you get one. All right, we're just about done. And there is our ding. Thank you. There's our pizza, hot on top, as you could certainly tell. All right, so let's bring her over. Now, you can see a bit of moisture here on the plate because obviously it's been hot and you can certainly see that the base is a bit soggy. So, as hot as this is, in she goes. All right, you can hear that sizzle because obviously the pan here is still hot. So this is only going to be in here for a minute if we're lucky. Now actually while we are waiting for this to uh, do its thing and crisp up that base, the thing I would say is the plate that I happen to put the pizza on and put it in the microwave, you can see it's got a bit of moisture on it. So I'd probably get a piece of paper towel and just wipe that up because you don't really want your nice firm pizza here getting wet on the plate. So I'm going to just go ahead and wipe that up. All right, well, that pizza, now you can see just how easy it's sliding up and it's now quite solid. So up she comes. All right, now let's go and pop that on the bench and we'll compare that against the first method. Okay, so both of our slices of pizza have been reheated in slightly different ways. On the right, we have the pan steamed method. On the left, we have the microwave and then pan method. Look, they both look good from the outset. Uh, I'm going to try both and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, well, it's definitely solid. Hmm. You can hear the crunch. Oh. Look, for a dodgy slice of pizza, that's pretty good. It's definitely reheated. It's definitely nice and firm on the bottom. I think the top probably could have used a little bit longer. But okay, it's, it's definitely not that soggy pizza you're gonna get out of the microwave, you know, or, the, or a long effort you're gonna do by popping it in the oven. All right, but let's try pizza number two. Base feels pretty solid. Mm. Look, being completely honest, both of these are a terrific way of reheating pizza. You can't go wrong with either. Now, my personal opinion is to go with the microwave method and then popping it in a fry pan. Now, the reason I like that, it's just a little bit quicker. You know, you're, you're, you're dealing with two minutes worth of work versus four or five, potentially. So, I kind of like that method, but look, in all honesty, you're not gonna be able to taste the difference between either of these two. I really don't see that there is a difference. It's only in how you do it. All right, so today you've just seen how to reheat slices of pizza two different ways. So tell me in the comments what you think, which is the way you prefer to do it. But look, if you're hungover and you want it fast, you're probably just gonna throw it in the microwave anyway, but look, you are gonna get a much better experience. You're gonna at least enjoy the pizza. It's gonna be, in some ways, better. It's almost like Chinese food, Asian food. And when you have it the next day, if I notice it tastes better, pizza's pretty good too, like that. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video today. Let me know what you think. Again, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. We're all friends. Enjoy your pizza.